The impact WV Medicine Children's Hospital has on patients goes far beyond their stay. As West Virginia Tonight reporter Natalie Wattis explained, their care has a lifelong impact. One in 100 children are born with a congenital heart defect. Samantha Davis was one of those children. Pulmonary stenosis, transposition of the great vessels, um, coarctation of the aorta, and ventricular septal defect. The easiest way that I've always explained it to outsiders is I was born with four holes in my heart and my aorta was switched. So my oxygenated blood and regular blood were mixing and I was turning blue. It was a terrifying situation that Samantha's mother vividly remembers. I knew that she was blue. However, her being my first baby, I thought, well, she'll pink up. But when she didn't, doctors at Cabell Huntington Hospital knew she needed more intensive care. I was transported to West Virginia University um, the next day. Yeah, I might start crying because we got there. I was 23 hours post having my baby. I can remember the nurses just surrounded me with love. You know, I didn't get a holder at that time, but they let me just be a mom. At WVU Medicine Children's Hospital, Samantha had three surgeries before the age of one and three in the years following that. Samantha and her mom say because of the quality of care she received as a child, they still recommend people to the facility to this day. If my cardiac surgeon was still practicing. Up until he retired here just two months ago, I was referring patients. Back then, Samantha says her parents were given the option to go to WVU Medicine Children's Hospital, Cincinnati, or Pittsburgh for care. Instead, after my parents talked to my grandparents, they were like, just keep your money in the state. So we chose West Virginia University. I've never regretted it one time. They were just for the family. In Huntington, Natalie Wattis for West Virginia Tonight.